how to protect, you know, your family for what is coming. There's more to protecting your family in a bad situation, emergency situation and everything else that people really need to be aware of. And we're going to go through the top 10 things that I think everybody should be aware of and thinking about. And some of these things, more than likely, it's not something that you're really thinking that I'm going to talk about. So we're going to start right off. The first one is um, securing your home. Now, by securing your home, you know, you want to make sure that if something happens, you can secure your home off in a uh, emergency type situation or whatever else. If you are staying in your home, if you choose to stay in your home this way here, you have a secured environment where your family is. Number two, you want to keep a low profile at home during any type of emergency situation. If there's something that's really bad going on, you don't want to be outside. You don't want your kids outside. You don't want anything else. You want to make the place look like maybe there's nobody there, you know, because if people all of a sudden start seeing flashlights or they start seeing light or whatever else, they may get an inquiry that, you know, hey, you may have supplies and uh, it might be a good place for us to go. Number three, very important for you to communicate to your family what is going on. Now, I understand if you do have young children, it may not be something that you're going to tell them everything that is going on, but you need to make them aware of the situation to a certain point so that they understand why you're doing what you're doing and why they can't do certain things. Number four is use your social media wisely. All right. So even if you still have, say, a cell signal, even if you lost power, you, you probably could still have a cell signal. You want to make sure that you're not putting a lot of stuff out there. That's when you want to really go low key. Number five, have a plan. Having a plan is very, very important for any type of an emergency type situation. Rather, it be a plan for you're staying in your home, this is what we have to do, or a plan if you are leaving your home, as I have talked about in several different videos, having those plans put in place and everything else is so very important to the, you know, the dire need in a time when maybe you don't have a lot of time to react to the emergency type situation. Now, number seven, have enough food and supplies for at least three weeks. Now, I understand a lot of people have uh, commented and a lot of, I've had a few emails where people are just like, they can't prep because they just don't have the money. They have enough money to get by and I get that, all right? It's really tough for a lot of people right now, but somehow or another, you really need to try to get to that at least three weeks supply of food for you and your family. Number eight, this is a big one, all right? Now, a lot of people don't talk about this. A lot of YouTube channels don't talk about this. And I think it's something that is very important that people really need to be doing. Doing emergency drills as if something is happening and it basically to keep everybody on their toes, to keep everybody aware of maybe what their responsibility is when the emergency or disaster arises, okay? So it's no different. If you work for a major corporation, more than likely you have fire drills. If your kids go to school, they have fire drills. They may have tornado drills. They have all these different types of drills for their safety. So people know what they have to do and where they have to go, correct? So what is the difference if you take and you bring that into your home I know some of your kids, especially if they're teenagers, are going to be like, are you kidding me? But if you can get them to realize this is for their own protection, for their own safety, for the safety of the family. Number nine, you want to make a list of all the important phone numbers in an order of how and who should be called first if something was to happen, say, to you 
or your spouse or whoever else. So this way here, if you do have kids at home, they know who to call and who to call first. Number 10, number 10 is a big one. And I think it's very important, but number 10 is stay calm in the emergency situation that you are going through. Staying calm is a very, very good thing because this way here, you can always make those good decisions for you and your family and will help you get through that bad situation in a time when your family and your kids are counting on you. Just remember that because they're looking up to you for guidance. They're looking up to you for strength. They're looking up to you for security to keep them safe and protected. So this has been the top 10 things that people really need to be paying attention to and really doing right now. And you know, how to protect your family for what is coming. And now a lot of people are probably like, well, what's coming, you know, and you really have to look at a lot of the different aspects of everything that is taking place. And I'm not going to go into all that because that's like a whole nother video and everything else. But basically just start paying attention, start paying attention to what's going on around you and in your local news and a little bit of your national news. Um, choose your sources wisely and try to fact check anything that you can if you have a doubt. If you don't believe what is being done or said, then you know try to check it out for yourself. The internet is a beautiful thing. You can find out a lot of information out there and you're gonna find where some people they tell half the truth and not all the truth. And some people don't tell the truth and other people tell you exactly what's going on, but you have to decipher and try to figure that out for yourself sometimes depending on the situation. But there's just a lot of stuff that's going on folks and we all need to be prepared. And that's why I was doing, I was going to do this as a video and I wanted to do it as a live stream because I felt the importance of this certain topic and what I wanted to cover in that topic. And I wanted to make sure that people were really paying attention and was aware that these are some really severe things that we need to be doing in order to protect our families. Mm -hmm.